the nation will continue to back his drive and his leadership to the limit. This picture, taken by the RAF, shows a fraction of what Sir Archibald Sinclair then described as probably the heaviest blow at German war industry in the whole of our bomber offensive. This was Essen on the night of March the 5th. Thousands of incendiaries doing their work, great fires burning, and in between all those fires, buildings rocked and shattered and blasted as the RAF's big blockbusters explode. The crew of the aircraft that took this film had a very nasty experience. Here it comes. A large incendiary which has been released is struck by flak when it's fallen about 50 feet. The close-up of the flame at first completely fills the screen with its glare. Gradually, the burning bomb takes shape, and when we last see it, it's several thousand feet below the aircraft. Essen, which on March the 12th received an even heavier blow, had 13 of Krupp's main buildings destroyed and at least 40 damaged, all on March the 5th. Here are official pictures. First, an area of devastation among commercial and residential property near Krupp's. Some 30,000 people, most of whom were employed by Krupp's, lost their homes. And this is just one heavily damaged section of Krupps itself. Number one, top left, used to be an assembly shop. Three, machine shops. Eight, furnaces. Six, administrative offices. The others, more machine shops. In all, severe damage to workshops and buildings covered 136,000 square yards. This was taken after the raid on the 12th, a section of the heart of the great Krupps plant near the center of the city. Another view of Krupps after the night of the 12th. Great damage to railway and metal shops. Finally, more damage from the first of the two blitzes, where scarcely a roof remains. Essen may be the heart of the largest gun-defended area in Europe, but they can't stop the RAF. Apart from the